If you have a Dream UI brick or a Smart Pro and you are still using stock firmware, you are probably not getting the best out of your device. Next UI is a custom firmware built by the community and it improves pretty much everything, the interface, the performance and how the whole system feels. In this video I will show you how to set it up, how to install it step by step and some useful add-ons you can install later and a few simple tips to make it feel just right. Nothing complicated, just a clean solid setup that works. Next UI is a custom firmware made specifically for the Trim UI Brick and the Smart Pro. It started as a modified version of MinUI, but it quickly turned into something much more complete. The main goal, make these little handles feel faster, cleaner and more modern, without adding unnecessary stuff. Menus are more responsive, boot times are shorter and you get useful features that just are not there in the stock firmware. Things like shaders, custom themes, Wi-Fi support, LED effects, and even tools to manage your games better. There is also a nightly build for the Mijo Fleet, and maybe more devices in the future, but for now NextUI is mainly built and tested for the Brick and the Smart Pro. And the best part, once you set it up, it just works. Alright, let's go to the PC and I will show you the whole process. First, you will need a micro SD card, I recommend 32GB or more, and of course, a way to connect it to your computer. We are going to format it in FAT32. If you are on Windows, you can just right click on the SD card and choose format. And make sure that FAT32 is selected. Alternatively, you can use the Raspberry Pi Imager program, it's free and works great for this. Next, we need the firmware. Go to the official GitHub page and download the latest full release. You have the link in the description. The file is called something like nextui adate all.zip. Once it's downloaded, unzip it and copy all the files directly to the root of your freshly format SD card. Now a quick tip. Let's also add the pack store, which is an additional add-on that makes it super easy to install new features later on. Directly from your console, you can find the pack store link on the official documentation site. Just download it, unzip it and copy the folder called packstore.pack into the location of your SD card. Slash tool slash TG5040. And what are packs? They are basically small apps like utilities or standalone emulators that add functionality to next UI. Some help you organize your games, customize the interface or access extra tools. We will talk more about them later but it's good to have the store ready from the start. Once everything is copied and the SD card is ready, go ahead and insert it into your Trim UI Brick or Smart Pro. Then turn on the console. It should boot straight into next UI, no setup is needed. You will see a clean, simple interface and it should respond quickly right from the start. If the menu loads correctly, the firmware is installed and working. The only thing left now is to copy your game ROMs. There is a folder called ROMs on the sticker, and inside it you will find one folder per system like GBA, NDS, PSP and so on. Just drag your ROM files into the right folders. In my case, I'm adding a few GBA, NDS and PSP games to test the setup. Once NextUI is up and running, there is one thing I always install first, the Pack Store. It's a small app that gives you access to dozens of add-ons directly from your device. Just connect to the Wi-Fi, go into the Tools section and launch Pack Store. These add-ons are called packs. They are like plugins, little tools or apps that improve the experience or unlock new features. Here are the packs that I usually install. First, the theme manager to customize how the UI looks. Then, if you want to emulate PSP games, you can install PPSSPP. Then, if you are going to play Nintendo DS, you should install Advanced Drastic Emulator, which includes different screen layouts. I also like to install the Artworks Scraper to download game covers and media for your ROMs and finally the Over the Air Updater, also called as OTA, to update NextUI directly from your device without needing a computer. Once you install them, you will find them either in the main menu or inside the tools section, ready to use. Now that everything is running, let's make it look the way we want. NextUI already feels modern, but with the theme manager you can completely change the vibe. First, open the theme manager from the packs menu. Then, make sure to tap Sync Catalog, that will refresh the list of available themes. Once it syncs, go into Download Themes, and you will see a bunch of options you can preview and apply in seconds. On my Trim UI Brick, I really like Pearly Gate by Shin. It's clean, colorful, and fits the small screen perfectly. 
and on the Smart Pro I'm using Noir Theme by Leviathan. It's dark, minimal and looks amazing on the display. Now if you want full control, you can open the component section and mix and match wallpapers, icons, accents, overlays, everything. But even with just the default presets, you can already give your device a completely different feel. Now let's take a quick look at how games actually run with Next UI. Starting with the Team UI rig, I have loaded a couple of Game Boy Advance games like Pokemon and Mario Kart, and they run super smooth. For Nintendo DS, I'm using Advanced Drastic. You can switch screen layouts easily with the select plus left or right rows, which is really useful depending on the game. There is also a built-in game switcher, just press the function button and select, and you can jump between games without going back to the main menu. One thing to keep in mind is that the sleep mode doesn't work when playing NDS games on the brick, so if you want to pause you will either need to exit the game first or do a full shutdown. You can technically play PSP games too, but with no joystick and such a small screen it's not really practical for most titles. Now on the Trinity Smart Pro you get the same emulators, GBA, NDS and PSP, but thanks to the larger screen and the built-in joysticks, PSP games are actually enjoyable here. I have tested Mario Kart DS, Pokemon Heart Gold and Dragon Ball Tag Team for the PSP and everything runs great. Plus the sleep mode works even during DS gameplay, so you can turn off the console and resume right where you left off. If you have only used the stock firmware until now, this feels like a proper upgrade. Next UI also adds a few extra features that just make everything smoother. First the battery monitor, it shows your battery percentage, how long it is lasting since the last charge and how much longer it has left before running out of power, and even gives you a graph of how it's been raining over time. Super useful if you like to keep an eye on battery life during long sessions. And then there is the game time tracking. Every time you launch a game, it automatically logs how long you have been playing. It's great if you like tracking your progress, but just keep this in mind. If you leave a game open in sleep mode, those hours might still be counted, so the numbers can be a bit off sometimes. And you have also a good solid level of customization. You can tweak brightness, contrast, saturation and even change the color essence of the menus to match your theme. And one of my favorite tools, the artwork scraper. It grabs box art for your ROMs, so your game library looks way cleaner. It only takes a few seconds to set up and really improves the look of everything. None of these are flashy features, but they make your console feel more complete, like something you actually enjoy setting up and using every single day. So after testing NextUI on both the TrimUI Rig and the Smart Pro, I can honestly say it's a big step forward. It doesn't completely change what these consoles are, but it does make them way more enjoyable to use. The menus are smoother, the features feel modern, and everything is just easier to manage. If you are just getting started, my advice would be keep it simple. Start only the packs you really need, like the theme manager, drastic, PSP, the artwork scraper, and the over the air updater, so you can update everything easily later. And once you have everything working the way you like, make a backup of your SD card. It will save you a lot of time if something ever goes wrong. And don't feel like you need to try every single feature right away. Part of the fun is exploring next UI at your own pace. If you are still on the stock firmware, this is definitely worth a try. And if you are already using next UI, I would love to know what are your must have packs and which theme are you using right now. Feel free to share it in the comments. And if you need more tools, guys, or accessories, you can check out my two pages dedicated to each console. They are linked down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.